What's poppin' people? It's your boy Smasher here, back with another video. Today we got 6.3.5, The Mysterio Boss. And let me tell you, this guy is annoying. But before we get to him, we got Red Skull. And if you don't know how to fight Red Skull, well, lucky for you, I made a video dedicated on how to fight this guy. So, a video solely dedicated to fighting this guy, all the best counters. So, if you don't know how to fight him, go watch that. Or, I'll just tell you right now, bring Null. He's the best. He's the best Red Skull counter, pretty much. So, if you bring Null, he's going to absolutely dominate this fight and just dominate most of this quest as well. Just like the last quest. I love Null. Make sure to bring him in if you have him. He will not disappoint you. So this fight is already almost over. Um, I don't show the nodes for a little bit until the Emma Frost fight. But basically, the only thing you have to know is that all of their special attacks are unblockable. So just keep that in mind. Make sure that you can dodge all of these defenders' special attacks and you're going to be fine. So... Next fight, we got Iceman. You want to bring someone Cold Snap Immune. So I'm bringing Warlock. Some other options, Sasquatch and Human Torch. Now you can use Human Torch for the boss as well. So he would be great to bring into this quest. But the problem is you want to use um, his Nova form for the boss. Just so that way your attacks can't miss. But if you save that for the boss, then this fight will not go that well because Iceman is immune to incinerates. So without the Nova Flame, you're not going to be doing that much damage in this fight. But yeah, I don't know. Do what you want. You can either use the Nova Flame in this fight to make this fight easy. If you don't have another Cold Snap Immune Champ. And then bring another boss counter. Or you can bring like Warlock or Sasquatch or someone else, Cold Snap Immune, Colossus as well. And then save Torch for the boss because Torch is a great Mysterio counter. Well, for this quest at least. Keep in mind this is a rank 2 6 star Warlock so he's not even awakened. And we're easily getting the job done with him here. Now, we got Howard the Duck. You can use anyone for this. Just um, make sure you don't push him to special 2. Because it's... According to my experience... Impossible to dodge. So it's going to be unblockable. Make sure to keep him at special 1. And you're going to be fine. Now... If you're really bad at dodging special attacks... You can bring in Doom. And just power control this whole path. And you're going to be fine. You won't have to dodge any special attacks. So just keep that in mind. If you're really bad at dodging special attacks, bring in Dr. Doom. But if you can dodge these special attacks, bring in your Cosmic Champions for this fight. Because, as you see right here, Null is absolutely dominating. And any other Cosmic could do the same thing. Bring in your favorite Cosmic and you're going to be laughing. Now we got the hardest fight on this path emma frost now i didn't really bring in a great emma frost counter i brought warlock who's only a rank two six star and i have no experience using warlock so i'm sorry for the bad gameplay but with emma frost you guys know her special attacks um your controls are inverted for them and for this fight they're also unblockable as well yay very great design here, whoever put Emma Frost on this path. But yeah, you'll see I get hit by it like almost every time. Because usually I block that first hit and then dodge the second one. But you can't block the first hit because it's unblockable. Nice. So that's the one I dodged, but I don't dodge anymore. It's fine. If you guys get hit by it, you'll see it's fine. I get hit by it two more times. I don't even die with a rank two six star. So, and not boosted or anything. If you guys boost, and if you guys have a stronger warlock or someone else, 
you won't die either even if you get hit so don't worry just do your best to not get hit by that special attack and also make sure you don't push it to special two because if you get hit by that you're probably gonna die it does a lot more damage than the special one so yeah that fight that was the hardest fight guys and see it wasn't even that hard so just keep that in mind next we got heimdall so now i'm gonna use doom you don't need any mystic champs really but like I said, you can use Doom for this whole path, so you might as well bring him in and use him for this fight for the class advantage. Now, I am rusty at this game, and uh, I accidentally let him throw a special 2, which is not something you want to do because you can't dodge it. He makes your decks fail, and it's also unblockable, so you can't just block it. So don't push him to special 2. That was a big mistake I made. Push him to special one only. It's easy to dodge. And you can get this guy down easily. You'll see this damage right here. Three, two, one. Not even that bad, but still. We're just going to continue nuking him down here. Keep with the doom combos. Light, light, medium, heavy. That's usually what you want to do. And obviously use your special three once they have two bars of power to get in the doom cycle. But... I didn't really have an opportunity for that in this fight. I'm just going to throw this special 3 to end the fight. And he's done. So we're on to the next fight. It is... Who even is that? Civil Warrior? We're going to use Galen here. Absolutely melt him down because of all the armor ups. We gain the planetary mass much faster. And then obviously the more planetary mass you have... The more damage you do. Someone commented a while ago asking why I said that Galen does good against people with armor ups. And it is because when the opponent has an armor up, Galen gains planetary mass faster. And if he gains it faster, that means he gains more. And the more he has, the more damage. As you see there, 200,000 damage right there. On the special one. Absolutely ridiculous joke of a fight. So we're going to Venom the Duck. I'm going to use Doom here again. And once again, don't push him to special two. It's way harder to dodge. The special one is very easy to dodge. Like Sometimes I'm standing right there and he just flat out misses me. Even if I don't deck. So I don't know. He is a... Uh, it's kind of weird, his special one, it pretty much never hits you, so we're going to slap him right there, do the special one, steal his power, keep doing light attacks to power drain and see, boom, dodge that easily, even though I dodged it pretty late, I think, and yep, special three, going to end this fight. And yeah, we got one more, I think, and then the boss. So yeah, we got Angela. So once again, I'm going to use Doom. And once again, I'll tell you guys, you don't have to use Doom. You don't have to use any Mystic, but you might as well for the class advantage. And Doom's really good for this path. So bring your Doom. He can also nullify her armor ups and nullify her regen. And once again, bait special ones. They're easy to dodge. So as you can see here, we're doing our combos, light, light, medium, heavy, special combo for Dr. Doom, does a lot of damage because of that heavy attack. If you guys want, you could just bring Doom and Diablo and then absolutely just get through most of these guys, bring in a Red Skull counter, bring in a Emma Frost counter, and you're going to be set. But the boss, oof. He's the hardest boss we've had in a while. Maybe in the entire series, I don't really remember, but he's tough. I don't want to scare you guys with that, but he really is annoying. So now we're at the boss. We're going to talk about the nodes and then talk about some counters. So we're going to show the nodes in a second. I'll read it out. The character I'm going to be using is Quicksilver for most of the fight. Then I'm going to finish with Null. Just to show you guys another option, but Quicksilver can work. He can solo it. 
I'm just not that good with Quicksilver. All right, so the nodes, Tunnel Vision. If you do the same action twice in a row, you're going to get a Falter. Matador, the only time you get power is when he gets power, and then he gets more power gain, and then something with Poison, but Poison doesn't do too much damage. So the reason I'm using Quicksilver is because you want to use somebody that can counter Miss. So Quicksilver... Um, once you get to 300 of those gray things, you can't miss, so that's why I'm using him. Other options are Torch with the Nova Flame. His attacks can't miss. I think Magneto would work for this because Mysterio's metal. And I think Professor X's attacks don't miss, but maybe he wouldn't work because Mysterio's techs, you probably don't want to use him. Um, and then Cosmics, you can use Hercules. He's amazing for this fight, but like I said, I'm not using him in this series. But if you have Hercules, please use him for this fight. It'll just make your life way easier. He's probably the best counter because um, once you do the special one, you get the true strike or whatever, and then your attacks can't miss. So Hercules, number one option. CGR is good because he has the Vigilance. Um... Yeah, so hopefully you guys have either Hercules, CGR, or Null. And then if not, hopefully you have Quicksilver or Torch. And then if not, hopefully you have Red Magneto. And then if not, uh, if you don't have any of those, I would probably recommend bringing in a Poison Immune Champ. And then just making sure you don't do like the same thing twice in a row and take this fight like very slow. So what I recommend, you'll see it when I use Null, but you parry, and then you do medium, light, medium, and then you parry, and then do a heavy, and just repeat that. So medium, light, medium, and then heavy. So parry, medium, light, medium, they'll fall down, they get up, parry, and then heavy again, and just keep repeating that. So you never, you'll never do the same action twice in a row, but as you can see, this fight with quicksilver is going very slow and very poorly because i'm terrible with quicksilver i hate him i literally hate using him his combo is so annoying it's like 13 hits i always mess up chaining in my special attacks because of that and as you see i don't know if it happened already i'm not really paying attention but i messed up the special too and yeah so if you're good with Quicksilver, this fight would be easy, but I'm terrible. So yeah, the only good thing about him is his attacks can't miss. But everything else about him sucks. So in a minute, I'm going to just switch to Null because this fight is just taking forever. And I honestly thought that Null, his attacks couldn't miss because of the, um, like there's something in his kit where it says like his like mediums or something can't miss. Something like that, I don't really know, but it didn't really work for me here, but it's fine. I was just doing the medium, light, medium, and then heavy attacks, as you'll see in a second, and it worked out fine. So, Null has been uh, pretty valuable in this series, and I just hope you guys have him, because he's amazing. So, as you see there, medium, light, medium, and then heavy just to make sure you're not doing the same action twice in a row and then you're not getting the falter on you because there's a lot of things to look out for in this fight you got to look out for the falter that's on you and then after the special attack you'll you know you, that you can't hit mysterio or he'll reflect the damage back at you so you have to wait and then he ends up power draining me half the time as well after he does the special attacks so then i don't even get to use a special it's just very annoying. It's a very long and annoying fight, but you guys can get through it. This is one of the times where I really recommend Hercules because it would just make your life so much easier. And he really is the best counter for this fight. So I hope you guys have Hercules and you can use him. But yeah, this fight's almost over. I'm going to throw the special one and then end it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, 
comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. And if you watch this far into the video, comment Null the Goat. And we'll see you guys again very soon. Peace.